So we are in this main arterial road that connects Jainagar, JP Nagar, which is South Bangalore, towards uh, the Outer Ring Road, towards uh, the Hosu Road, and of course, eventually from there to Sajapur and Belandur. With me, B. S. Arun, uh, veteran journalist, resident Bangalorean, and look at the, the the picture. I mean, you've got construction debris on the one side, you've got metro construction happening at a brisk pace here, and then of course there's traffic on the other side of the road. And this is a, a typical Bangalore scene. Uh, it, there are such pockets everywhere. Why does this sort of continue to happen, uh, Arun? We've been talking about Bangalore and its infrastructure woes for a number of years, probably 20 years now. Yes. But why does it not ever get changed? You know, this road is sort of uh, the gateway to the IT corridor from uh, South Bangalore, from Jainagar and from Mysore Road. You know, lots of areas connect to uh, Belandur and, uh, you know, Madhali, Whitefield, you know, to this road. So. This road becomes the arterial, or sort of, uh, you know, the most important uh, uh, connecting point from the other part of Bangalore. And there is no other big road, you know, like this road, you know, to connect uh, these two points of Bangalore South and Bangalore Southeast. So that's one reason. And we, you know, uh, until this metro starts, until then we are going to have this problem. And this is the, also the infamous, uh, you know, silk uh, board, uh, that point. Yeah. Down the road, another you know kilometer, we'll get uh, uh, silk board, and that's another huge bottleneck from the traffic point of view. And this has been happening, and this is okay now today mm -hmm. because we are past uh, the, the morning peak hour. Morning peak hour, yeah. And there is no rain happening. Yeah. Yesterday evening, lots of rain. People had a nightmare, nightmare. of an experience here. You know, one of the things I noticed is obviously there's metro construction in most cities, right? In Delhi, in Mumbai, etc. But this debris being put out on the road like this, I don't think I've seen this anywhere. Yes. And I think it speaks to the construction. This is also adding to the woes. I mean, if that debris is not there, you could actually widen this road. It could ease up the traffic a bit. I think this is the major difference in construction and how the construction should not be. Yeah. The difference between Bangalore and, say, Delhi. You know, where the construction, you will never going to see this kind of a, a debris uh, in, in Delhi. They, they manage it so well. Whereas here, I I don't think they will bother much, and people also don't oppose it. So they think it's, it's fine. What is the what's the what's the point in uh, you know hearing all this and um, you know pay, paying for that also? All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down this road. This is the road that uh, connects, like I said, South Bangalore to the IT corridor. And mind you, there are IT corridors in both directions, right, Arun? So you hit the junction. This way is Electronic City, and then further down, of course, uh, is the IT corridor, the place that infamously got flooded last year. Yes, yes. It's, it's just a few kilometers away, and, uh, you know, uh, when it rains, it's, the scene is very bad, mm -hmm. and especially in the, uh, you know, during the peak hours. And uh, there's a lot of uh, heavy traffic. Uh, you know, How many years has this metro been under construction for? Oh, it must be about uh, five to six years now. At least five and, to six years. it's not complete as yet. They have given the target of, I think, next June or so. I'm so not 2024 sure. June. Yes. Okay, I'm so not sure whether it will complete. <laughs> if whether it will be ready by then. So effectively, yeah. you're looking at one line, just one stretch of the metro taking about seven or eight years. Obviously, that's compounding to the current uh, uh, traffic. You can see this is a signal. It is a junction, of course. But you can see just how much traffic is building up. And this is in the middle of the day. But we're going to go down this road and uh, sort of retrace the steps, if you will, of this IT corridor and why there are such massive jams across Bangalore and why this problem has not been fixed for at least a couple of decades now. All right, so we're standing here at uh, what is uh, an infamous location of Bengaluru City. It's called the Silk Board and there are tons of memes and caricatures about Silk Board. So let's ask Arun about it. What, what are the jokes that are made about Silk Board? Well, there are many. I can uh, tell you one uh, which I remember. Uh, there is a, I think, YouTube, uh, uh, you know, video, short video, a documentary kind of thing. And, uh, you know, the wedding takes place when the couple reach this, uh, uh, this road, you okay. know, at the start. Yeah. So they get married. The fight happens, uh, you know, during the journey. <laughs> during the journey. And by the time they, their travel ends here, when they about to reach their office, there is the divorce. <laughs> so marriage happens, you know, then uh, the fight happens and divorce also happens. Through the course of just navigating traffic at the silk board flyover. But has this always been like this or is it because of the construction? I can see garbage also being picked up 
uh, you can see a, a garbage vehicle there picking up tons of garbage from the side of the road. Has this always been like this or is, is has it gotten progressively worse because of all the construction? It's progressively worse. Number one, because the population moved to this side of the city. There was not much of population here in the eastern part okay. uh, and southeastern part of the city. And then the IT corridor started. And then, because of the IT corridor, all the ancillary units came up. You know, all these uh, residential plots. You know, earlier it was only silk port. And then all these huge constructions uh, came here, and it got worse. You know, progressively got worse. And why don't any political parties uh, or anyone, you know, talk about uh, the issues here? I mean, obviously, this is a nightmare for commuters across, because you're saying there is the IT corridor towards the Sarjapur Belandur side, and then, of course, there's Electronic City on this side. But no one seems to talk about this. I mean, we've had the major parties releasing their manifesto, both BJP and Congress. I don't think there's any plan here to decongest uh, Silk Board. See, the thing is, uh, this is a newer part of Bangalore, and uh, the traditional part is on the southern side and uh, other, other parts of the city. There's not much of attention. Be of course, there are many MLA constituencies here. Like if you see Pomanahalli and uh, yeah. Madhepura, and, you know, that way it's important. What we see is, uh, you know, sort of uh, negligence of the authorities. I will give you one example, uh, Zaka. The Prime Minister came uh, to Bangalore and inaugurated many projects. Yeah. There is not a single BPMP project. And why is that? Because BPMP has not, not taken up any big work over the last few years and they have nothing to show. Mm. Whereas, you know, one line of uh, metro was yeah. inaugurated by the PM. Yeah. So that shows the kind of uh, negligence that the even the BBMP has and the, the areas that uh, that were flooded is not very far from here. Correct. So what we'll do is we'll go to those areas, we'll show you what exactly the flooding did and why it played out the way it did because only part of it was because of the rain. The other part of it was man-made and we'll explain that to you uh, through the course of the show. So we are just off what is called the Outer Ring Road in Bangalore and this is where the IT corridor is. This part of town is what got infamously flooded last September with just a small bout of rain. Arun is with me and I'm going to show you something very interesting. We've got a bunch of these constructions that are happening and this is literally a lake bed, construction that is happening on top of a lake bed. You can see, you know, algae and, and, and weeds grow there on the water. If you actually pan a little more further into that building, you can literally see the building's basement is full of water. Uh, Arun, you know, this, this is illegal, right? I mean, this should not have come up in the first place. Now it's an abandoned building. Uh, but, but look at that. You can see weeds. You can see water plants. The entire basement of that building is, uh, is in water. Yeah. I think this is how a town planning should not be. This is a prime example of that. Mm. I think it also shows the, you know, the nexus between the uh, officials, the, the, the politicians, the builders and uh, and whatnot i think and this is one of the main reasons why bangalore got flooded like never before in yeah. this particular uh, area last year so so this entire bed used used to be full of lakes, lakes. Uh, yes. and then you just have rampant construction coming up on top yes yes if you see the, this entire area is uh, you know um, uh, was uh, lakeside hmm. uh, areas until about uh, maybe a few de decades ago hmm. but then which, which the lake is this this is the uh, the, uh, th that that's like the main Agara Lake. Okay, this this would be uh, an extension of that. Extension of that, and this is part of the Agara uh, village. Okay. You okay. Know, and uh, from here you can see the major constructions happening. Mm. Uh, I'm sure even this part also was part of the uh, lake area, but yeah. then constructions have come up over the years. Mm. And this is the uh, also part of the uh, IT corridor, yeah. which uh, got flooded. So how, how do the, I mean, how is permission even given for these buildings in the first place that they come up? Because clearly, you know, this has been done illegally. Uh, it could be a, a nexus between, let's say, the builders and BBMP officials and other, uh, other officials. Nobody ever gets caught for this kind of stuff? I'm, I'm not sure because the construction has stopped now. I'm sure uh, various committees, uh, you know, which went into the, um, you know, the nexus, the, the town planning uh, scams, um, because of their intervention, the construction must have stopped. Mm. I don't know the details of this. Okay. But then, you know, why this was allowed to come up to this stage? Correct. You know, that baffles Correct. me. Correct. You know, and this is happening not just here, but in many parts of uh, the city in, in this area also, in this 
side of the town also mm -hmm. so and that was the main reason why people experienced so much of uh, uh, you know problems because of the flooding so you know you have these uh, unconstructed or semi constructed buildings on the one side on the other side you have a main road you have flyovers and of course uh, housing colonies and all of this uh, at, le at least a few years ago or a few decades ago used to be lakes and construction has come up on lake beds and that uh, is one of the primary reasons why we saw massive flooding uh, in last year's floods that happened in Bangalore but no political party is talking about it this time. No, but I think this is not a that much of a you know vote catching area mm. and this is where the IT, IT crowd also live which and they don't come and vote so mm. why bother about why bother? Uh, them that must have been the uh, mindset of the politicians and uh, even the officials but then you know I will tell you one more thing about these lakes yeah our forefathers had you know planned in such a beautiful way Bangalore had many huge lakes and they're now uh, history now they these lakes were interconnected from one to the other so that the flow of water would be smooth yeah you know there won't be any flooding mm. that was the motto in which these lakes were constructed earlier decades back or centuries back mm. but then because of the uh, you know movement of uh, a shift of the population here and because of the money minded politicians and bureaucrats and also the builders yeah i think bangalore has reached this stage now yeah. where we see flooding year after year.